हेलो एवरी वन फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वेरी हैप्पी दिवाली टू ऑल ऑफ यू ऑल ऑफ माई सब्सक्राइबर्स एंड ऑल ऑफ माई फॉलोअर्स ऑन इंस्टाग्राम एंड आई वुड लाइक टू थैंक ऑल ऑफ यू फॉर ऑल योर इम एंड सपोर्ट टूडे वी आर थर्टी एट थाउजेंड सब्सक्राइबर्स ऑन यूट्यूब एंड फोर्टी फोर थाउजेंड फॉलोअर्स ऑन इंस्टाग्राम सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल थैंक्स टू ऑल ऑफ यू ईच वन ऑफ यू फॉर सपोर्टिंग द चैनल फॉर शोइंग योर इंटरेस्ट एंड योर कॉन्फिडेंस इन माई चैनल सो थैंक्स अ लॉट to all of you and in today's video i am going to talk about how you can develop your career into bim industry no matter if you are from architecture or you are from engineering department or the engineering industry you both will gain a lot from this video i will be talking about what is bim how the bim industry is functioning right now what does bim industry demands from the youngsters and from the beginners who are coming into the industry what softwares you should be using what software you should be learning so all these points i will be covering in this video so try watching this video till the end this video will be a very helpful video so without any delays guys let's get started with the video point number 1 guys uh, to start a career into bim industry you need to understand what bim is I have made video on what is BIM. At least two videos I have made prior to this, but I'll just explain you in short what is BIM. BIM is not just one software. BIM is not Revit. BIM is not AutoCAD. BIM is a software or a group of softwares that enable you to embed a lot of information into your models. For example, you can make a wall in SketchUp, but that wall is just a wall or probably brick wall. But in Revit. Revit enables you to feed in data about the layers of that wall like plaster paint brick mortar all these things can be fed into that model itself even the thermal resistance thermal barriers all these data can be fed into revit and this is what bim model is bim model basically is a model with a lot of information in it second point it enables you to collaborate you can work with your consultant electrical engineers your mechanical engineers civil engineers together on your architecture model without affecting your architecture model so this is something that is very important for all of you to know that bim is basically letting you collaborate with different parties and different entities second you can simulate simulate your construction data you can schedule all your construction data for example if you have your walls you can schedule all your walls internal wall separately exterior wall separately all the data of the walls second your doors your windows your roofing your tiling everything can be scheduled and timed based on your project construction so this is something that is very important factor of bim and it helps in reducing the construction cost reducing the construction wastage reducing the delay on site so this is something that you all have to keep in mind what is bim and if you want a detailed video i have already made a detailed video about bim now let's talk about the softwares that are very important if you want to work in north america or even in india these softwares are very common and everyone into bim industry is using them but it doesn't mean that only these software can be used first for architecture architecture first of all revit is very important in india as well as in north america what are families how they function how you can make a model how you can schedule how you can make analysis of your model these are the factor that you have to focus on in revit software second software is blue bim that is very widely used over here basically it's a pdf software but this software enables you to read the drawings very accurately you can measure your drawings you can collaborate with different entities owners and different stakeholders even your engineering department you can do markups you can tell to your consultants or your engineers that this part is something off you have to do or you have to recheck or redo or something it can be collaborated on real time basis so that is very important next software is naviswork naviswork is also very widely used over here all the major firms are using naviswork to run class detection 
what navis work basically does is reads each and every entity of your model from lights tables chairs ceiling uh, your beam column your electrical map everything you can segregate it into two parts and run a class detection so for example you are selecting beam and columns and you are selecting lighting fixtures and your hvac it will run a class detection between them and you will get to know where they are intersecting or where they are getting to clash with each other and you can resolve it before the construction begins on site and reduce a lot of cost of it so these three softwares are very important you should know them very thoroughly next is for civil engineers civil engineers all the above softwares uh, are the same but you should focus on arc gis and microstation a lot of uh, openings for bim coordination here in canada and in america asking for these two softwares so keep these in mind and practice on these two softwares along with your revit naviswork and blue bim so once you are well versed with these software you need to learn and practice yourself on model management how to keep your model weights light how to manage a model how you can collaborate in cloud how you can manage access controls i have made a video on how to do that how to make a cloud model how to link them on cloud so these are the industry expectations you should know all of these before going into the industry and all of the industry will ask you to know these fundamental things so these are something that are very important i have made two videos prior to this on linking of models doing cloud collaboration so just focus on these few things and you will be good to go for time being and uh, next is even bim bxp bxp is bim execution plan i have made a video separate video on that as well what are things are covered in a bim execution plan you should have knowledge about it but bim execution plan is developed office to office workplace to workplace so it will differ but you should have the idea of what it is so after you learn all of this first entry level job that you can get into bim industry is bim modeling so most of you would be engineers architects and uh, even contractors or electricians you should know how to do modeling in bim or do modeling in revit or your archicad when you start learning this then your opportunity of getting a job as a bim modeler opens up and once you have that first opportunity to work as a bim modeler then you can pivot yourself slowly towards bim coordination what happens in bim coordination i have already made a video but i will just give you an overview it basically means that you will be controlling the model on which all of your architects construction con companies consultants electricians and mechanical team will be working on you will manage the permissions you will manage the data flow you will manage how that model is functioning and how healthy that model is by healthy i mean not actual healthy but by healthy i mean that model is light there is not a lot of crap dumping on that model your model is based on the company standards everything that your architects are using your consultants are using are approved by the companies so these are the primary and the overview of the duties that an bim coordinator does now coming to bim manager once you enter into bim coordination role you might have to work there for at least one or two years or three years for you to get on to the next level next level is bim manager what bim manager does is basically he streamlines what are company standards how they will be implemented how the architects will be the uh, will be using that models how the consultant will be using viewing permission controls how you will be managing and these all information is segregated collected streamlined and given to bim coordinators and bim coordinators do the work and bim managers manage the models see if everything is functioning smoothly for reaching the bim manager level you have to be an expert in all of the softwares that i have spoken about not arc arc gis or microstation i'm talking about the architecture side so you have to be an expert in revit or archicad you need to know how to keep the model 
uh, streamline how to manage permission what all things can go wrong in a bim project how you can solve the majority of the issues that come up with a model or how you can segregate the families eliminate all the uh, crap out of the mad models and how you can develop your own bim standards so this is the level and the hierarchy of the bim industry and once you go into the first level you will realize what all things are needed how the company functions how the hierarchy goes up and how the information channels down and how a bim project is executed and the and this is how you enter into bim industry it sounds very uh, difficult but it's not you just have to go with the flow you have to learn few of the softwares you i'm not asking you that you have to be an expert to enter the industry but you have to know the software very well you know you should know how to model into bim environment what are the project settings and all of those stuff so this is how you will enter and you will get your first gig in bim industry uh, i hope this gives you an overview of entering into bim industry and what all softwares are needed before you enter the bim industry so if you have any doubts or queries you can still mention it in the comment section i will definitely try my level best to solve your queries and guys again thank you for all your support but i would ask if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet please go ahead and subscribe to my channel hit a like on this video it might not cost anything to you but it helps me keep myself motivated and keep making these videos even after having two jobs and the third one is youtube so yeah please help me support my channel and happy diwali take care of yourself guys bye bye